those mountains. of girl that hid my face so afraid to tell the world what i've got to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know to let you know this is a real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be now gonna let the light We decided to try the Children's Museum of Phoenix, Arizona. The night that we happened to go, we were quite lucky because every first Friday of the month, admission is free. It was a very whimsical, busy place, but we had a great time. We even paid the $5 extra per child to make ice cream sandwiches. Wow. Okay, put it up there. So you have to unwrap. Okay. Do you have your spoon or you need some help? So when you open these, did you get sprinkles or anything, guys? I can get you some. And then, Bella, you put the other cookie on it. You just ate the cookies and the ice cream? You just ate them separate? Yeah. You finished yours already, Brandon? Oh, wow. Look at that treat. You just eat over your plate. I won't spill, that was too short. How is it, Bella? Yummy. What's going on? This is day three now in Phoenix, Arizona. We looked and toured Peoria High School um, to get a feel of what a high school would be like here. And it was beautiful. It looked like a college campus. Um, I will insert some pictures here right now. We drove out further in Scottsdale and the views were amazing. Picture this, mountain backdrops with palm trees in front and the saguaro cacti in front of that. Um, and all the colors of flowers that are blooming on the bushes in between. I am in love. I'm in love with the landscape. I'm in love with the weather here, it's sunny. I've been calling uh, friends back in Minneapolis and they've been saying it has been cloudy for the past three days and it was in the 40s. And today it's actually raining this morning, cold rain. So that is what I'm talking about, That's why I'm done. But today I decided we're gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the kids to an old Western town. It's about 45 minutes, everything's 45 minutes here. Everything's so sprawled out. That's one thing I've realized is to get from one city to another, or just the other side of Phoenix, everything's close to an hour. And there's a lot of traffic here. Um, but anyways, so I'll do a little vlogging of the Old West Town, and here we go. Okay, so we are on our way to the um, ranch, but I had to stop because it's so beautiful here. Um, I'll show you what's around us right now. Can you see that? All the mountains? And 
mountain back there. It's so gorgeous. I'll show you some more, okay? Look at that. This right here is so pretty. Let's zoom in. Later on, we decided to visit Goldfield Ghost Town and Mine Tours. It's just outside Apache Junction. Tell everybody why you, what's this? It's a sky for, 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 for cowgirls. For cowgirls? Yeah. You picked that? Yeah. <laughs> Brielle, what are you excited about today? Just mm -hmm. seeing what this is all about? Yeah. Okay. Brandis, what's something you want to do today? What are you excited about? Gift shops. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is so cute. This is like always what you think of when you think of this area, right? It was really cool because I remember falling asleep at my grandfather's house while he watched old westerns. And this was exactly as I thought it would be brought to fruition. Situated atop a small hill between the Superstition Mountains and the Goldfield Mountains, the settlement of Goldfield got its start in 1892. At one point, high grade gold was found in the area and soon a town sprang up on October 7, 1893. But the days were quickly dashed when the vein of gold started to play out and the grade of ore dropped even more. Just five years after it began, the town found itself quickly dying. The miners moved on, the post office was discontinued, and Goldfield became a ghost town. What does that say? Oh. oh, it says, no complaining, no profanity, no loud talk, two visits to the outhouse daily, meals are bean, bread, water, and jail visits are at Today, Goldfield is filled with authentic looking buildings, including underground mine tours and the only narrow gauge railroad in operation in Arizona. Numerous shops and buildings, including a brothel, bakery, leatherworks, a jail, Library and more. The authentic looking street is filled with people in period costumes, horses, and wagons, and sometimes authentic gunfight presentations. I like how they have the bordello right down from the church. <laughs> so funny. If it was Big Bird. <laughs> Mommy, look at this. Are you posing? <laughs> you look cute, Bella. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Bella. The prickly pear lemonade. 
You guys have to see if you like the taste. Look at that backdrop of the mountain while you guys drink and eat. It's so cool. You got your own one. What do you guys like? Do you like it? Yeah. How does it taste? It's really good, isn't it? I usually like lemon bars, but... I got you guys some chocolate chip cookies. First I got a brownie. Ooh, the brownie is warm. It's so good. It fell apart, it was so soft. Okay guys. Can you give me just a moment and I'll be back, okay? Okay, thanks. I'll give you like this uh, newspaper. Not so, cool. the menu's on the back. Yeah, they tell you it's coming. That's what I couldn't have when I was pregnant with Bella. They had those in San Antonio all the time. Prickly pear. Yeah, that's for real, uh-huh. should take a picture of it, so you remember. I got a white tea. I ordered some root beer, and they gave me sarsaparilla. It's a restaurant here. It's a beautiful backdrop, so you could choose to sit inside, which I showed some pictures earlier with that look like, but we chose to sit outside, well the kids did, and it has an amazing view. They said they've been making this slow roasted pulled pork all, all morning. Is it good, Brandis? Yeah. Hey girls, is it good? Yeah, it's good. Hmm? I'm again. Okay. They have wagon wheels for the lantern. Come on, I, I've given you a couple of tasks to do today. You got the judge coming to town. Hey, I took out a letter down there to the Jeep. Oh, here he comes. Be sure to stop by this little nugget and enjoy a day full of history and fun. Okay, so now that we have finished our ghost town, I decided to come look at some houses out here. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.